So the 2019 Chicago Auto Show is almost kind of like a uh, Toyota show in and of itself. Like everyone else brought like one or two vehicles, uh, new ve new vehicles, and Toyota just brings four. Yeah, they have brought updated TRD Pro vehicles for all of them. They've added another TRD Pro vehicle. They've added another vehicle with TRD off-road stuff. One of those is the new Toyota RAV4 TRD off-road. So the RAV4 Adventure, I finally got to drive that for the first time in the snow and ice last week and I had a blast. The TRD off-road looks even meaner. It kind of looks, it looks a lot like the Adventure. Yeah, and it is very similar to the Adventure. It's got the same ground clearance. The main changes are the suspension has been retuned and they say it's inspired by Millen's uh, rally Toyota RAV4. And he's actually been very competitive with his off-road rally RAV4. So we're curious to see what this will be like. Um, it's just inspired by suspension, so it's not the suspension. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Besides that, it's also got all-terrain tires and unique 18-inch wheels. And they look really good. Yeah. I can't wait to get my chance to drive in this thing, hopefully in a, uh, I know you want to drive it in a rally type setting. Yeah. Listen, if they're going to say that it's rally inspired, we got to test it like a rally car. <laughs> and then right next to it, we have the new TRD Pro Sequoia. Yeah, so this is the first time that TRD Pro has been available on the Sequoia. And it comes with your typical TRD Pro stuff. It's got Fox Racing shocks. It's got skid plates to protect the underside. It's got unique BBS wheels, all-terrain tires, and a lockable rear differential. This thing is just a behemoth. It's really like the, uh, you know, it's the Tundra's SUV counterpart, obviously, so it's just huge. We got the V8 still. Yep, and it comes with a cat-back exhaust, so it sounds a little throatier, a little meaner. And of course, it's got visual upgrades. It's got the unique Toyota grille. It's got Rigid Industries LED fog lights. It's kind of pre-customized off-road SUV. What do you think of a, a uh, SUV, TRD Pro SUV that is this big? I mean, everybody's going big. So like, it's hard. I like small stuff. I like small off-roaders. And I mean, yeah, this thing is huge. Like you can't take it down super tight trails, but there's obviously a market for gigantic off-roaders. Just look at the Ram Power Wagon. Or the Ford Raptor. Exactly. So. There's definitely a market for it. And like, if you want to trailer your ATV or whatever off-road somewhere, and you've got just a whole bunch of other gear or you've got friends, it's not a bad way to go because you've got space for all that stuff. And then behind us, we do have a refreshed taco, but it's not- It's a light refresh. Yeah, not a huge difference. Basically, they get new grills and they've introduced some LED headlights available on some models, but for the most part, it's all pretty much carryover. It's got the same engines, it's got the same transmissions. Uh, TRD Pro is still kind of the same thing. There are a couple small upgrades. You can now get it with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so compatibility. Brought themselves up to 2016 standards. Yeah, and actually <laughs> those features are also available on the Sequoia TRD Pro. Okay. The other thing is, is that the TRD Pro model for this, you can get these like surround view cameras so you can see everything around you. It's really handy off-road. Yeah, you can even see underneath you with those cameras. Which is yeah, it's got a camera like that points down so you can kind of see what's ahead of you as you're coming up over a hill or something. And then finally, we have way over there, the Land Cruiser. So let's go check that out. The uh, Toyota Land Cruiser is celebrating its 60th anniversary, which is like one of the oldest models still to be around. And so there's a Heritage Edition. It's a lot of subtle stuff, but it's stuff that I like a lot. Yeah, one of the big things is that it's got badging on it. What, something that we love, it's got this classic Toyota font and the Land Cruiser in cursive written out. Something that you'd see on the old Land Cruisers. It's also got unique uh, bronze BBS forged wheels. They have the Toyota badging in the middle there. I really love that. And to make it a little bit more off-road friendly, it gets rid of the side steps and any kind of like side molding on it just so that you're not dragging that on the trail, uh, not damaging anything, not getting stuck on anything. It's a little bit more off-road friendly. I think the front looks really mean too with this blacked out grill. It's got, it's got a little bronze on it too. Exactly. Yeah, the interior's got bronze accents too. 
kind of tie the whole thing together. And so these are going to be really limited production too. They're only building 1,200 of them. And if you want one, you better get to a dealer this summer because that's when they're going on sale.